Hi everyone, hope you guys are well and welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. In this short clip, we're going to look at some of the facade testing. And my name is Milad Khan. If you guys got any question, please feel free to leave in the comment box. So today we're going to look at uh, why do you need test and how testing is done. Why do you test? How does it affect the construction program? So these are the topic we're going to cover in this video. Now, why testing is needed? So it's basically to assess the workmanship. So once you build the facade and to see whether there is any leak or anything, uh, make sure it's water tightness. Uh, there is no air coming through the building. To prove details not covered by lab testing and to investigate any failures. Now, next thing, so you're going to look at the some of the site tests. So, site tests can be done. Uh, by inspection and usually there are two type of uh, site test uh, which are used uh, throughout the industry uh, host test and spray bar test now before you carry out any testing uh, some of the preparation work needs to be done and um, which is clean with mild detergent and rinse with clean water to overcome surface tension effects and to reduce blockage of drainage channels by dart. So basically you have to clean the facade before you carry out any testing. Okay, so now we're gonna look at host test. So you can see on the picture, so you go nozzle, and then you got the pressure gauge and then you got the control valve and water supply so that's all you need for the host test on-site host test now spray water from nozzle at a set pressure and that pressure is usually 222 uh, sorry 220 kilopascal or 30 psi water pressure gives 22 liters per minute flow rate you can measure water pressure immediately next to the nozzle and angle of that nozzle should be 30 degree now we're going to look at the method of hose test so you have to start at the lowest horizontal joint then intersecting verticals next horizontal and so on the, you should work over 1.5 meter of joint spraying perpendicular to and 300 mil from for five minutes typically pass hose along joint 10 minutes in five times internal corners test at 300 mil from each face so ie 425 mil from corner and so once you've done all these steps and if you don't find any leakage then you have to move on so you can see on the picture they're doing the host test on the facade so you have to do horizontally um, and then you have to move on to vertically and you do the joint as well now what happens if you find any failure or any leakage so if leakage occurs, then locate source and if you can't find the source then mask over all joints and selectively unmask and spray and continue until point of water entry is found if remedial work is required, 
so you have to reseal and allow one week for Silanti Q. Retest, reseal the uh, joints. Now, when do you need to do host test? So you have to do sooner rather than later. There is no point in assessing workmanship after 95% of job is complete. So if you install the whole facade, one elevation or the whole elevations of the building, and then if you do the testing and you know if it's unfortunate and if you find some leakage then uh, then it's no good then you have to um, reinstall the whole facade again so it's going to be you know huge amount of money plus the um, delays on program part of an inspection system so inspect the specimen before testing look for defects in sealant touch sealant to estimate depth and before installation of internal finishes because otherwise if you put all the internal furnitures and everything then you can't really inspect internally with any leakage coming through so that's an obvious reason okay hostess range so normally five percent of the critical joints Test area is usually at least one bay wide by one story high. Scope of testing may be increased if defects found. Okay, next type of testing is spray bar test. So spray water from pipe with nozzles at uniform intervals. And nozzle, nozzles are set at 400 mil centers and 250 mil from cladding surface. Flow rate equivalent to 5 liters per minute per meter. Suitable for all joints, providing water is not sprayed directly at joints. So you can see uh, there is a picture of a uh, spray bar test. and the method of the spray bar test objective is to simulate water running down running down face of cladding set spray bar up between 250 to 400 mil above area to be tested which may be considered to be no more than 3.5 meter below spray bar allow water to run down over face of cladding spray for 30 minutes then turn off spray continue to observe for 30 minutes and if you find any failure or leakage then lower spray bar to bottom of area and progressively work up yeah so these are the two um, water testing type and i explained the method of water testing so this give this going to give you some uh, basic idea of uh, facade testing so if you guys go any question please uh, feel free to leave in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for next videos and um, thank you again for watching